even just the power of the virtual hand raising tool, I think is actually more inclusive than a lot of the ways that we worked in traditional offices. Now, when it comes to hybrid meetings, I think we have to take that a step further. Many of us have uh, you know, many people in the office in the practice and individuals that are coming in or still working fully remotely. So simple things can help. Have a live host and a remote host. Make sure the remote host leads the first half of the agenda to remove that proximity bias of just who's in the room. Keep the use of the chat tool to avoid turn taking and speed up knowledge sharing. And even simple things like having a good camera in your offices, in your meetings, so that remote attendees can read the body language of the room can make a big difference. Now, beyond just some of these personality style differences, I think that there is another layer that has often caused us to see some conflict within our practices. In my research, what I found is that a lot of this is not just generational. It also comes with the fact that we have different, just like different traditional body language styles, many of us and across our staff have different digital body language styles. On one end, there's often staff members that are more what I call the digital natives. Let me give you some examples of a digital native. They're like those law firm associates. They love text, I am. They hate voicemail. They hate phone calls out of the blue. They prefer faster, new ways of working. They have frequent, shorter messages. They were the first to jump in to many of the digital tools at the height of the pandemic. On the other end of the spectrum are those I call the digital adapters. They feel more like immigrants. They can't wait to get back to face-to-face -face everything. Much more reluctance with new technology. A lot of this is a loss and a fear and more of an inconsistent use of channels and how they communicate across silos when they're not face-to-face. I know a digital native that will send a thoughtful email to an adapter with questions. The adapter will say, call me to discuss. The native will say, why can't you just answer my email? The adapter will say, why can't you just pick up the phone? And I think that really is the difference that's happening today. I want you to think about as a healthcare executive, how are you making sure within your practice, you're creating space, you're designing for effective collaboration across these styles. And I'm gonna give you some practices today to do just that. I think it's important not only across your staff, but also as you think about patients and really meeting patients where they are. There are those that will expect a digital first experience. They want the blogs, they want the videos, you know, before they even enter the office. And then there are those that really want that face-to-face -face touch and engagement and, and actually training your staff to not only have an empathy mindset, which was often built on traditional body language, but that digital style mindset of understanding how they like to engage, what their communication style is, can really make or break the growth of our practices today.